Welcome back everybody welcome if you're new today we're in the limited late models here at Lima land We're in third fastest in practice not awful but track already got worn out a little bit Track came in like not completely new just barely worn in but there wasn't any like lines on the track just like it's been used up a little But we started using it up real quick in practice so Hopefully we can have a decent time I'm hoping for a time in, like the sevens maybe Potentially the eights That'd be great Try to not smack the wall. I do the, that way too much in this track. Coming off the corner, this the car just like straightens out really weird in this track. Don't know what it is. All right, I ran a seven. I'll take that. I ran a lower seven than I was expecting. I was really expecting to get like a higher seven, if not an eight. So I will take that. Second lap into the eights. Yeah, I tried to run the high side in three and four. See what it had. But currently we're second, not even by that much either. A lot of people are close though in the sevens. So, seems like it's gonna be a real fast group of guys. And this is not one of my strongest uh, tracks by any means, so. Got a couple people left to qualify, so I'll pick it up when we're getting ready to go green in the race. All right, well we stayed in second, which is nice. Being on the outside is not gonna be that bad because uh, this like mid lane is gonna be All probably right, more used up than anything by the end of this race. And if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, like and subscribe so I know that you guys are enjoying this kind of racing. And I've, at least you guys are liking the video, so I, I appreciate it if you do. But uh, a couple of the guys that were fast in practice fell off quite a bit in qualifying. It looked like some of them hit the wall on their first lap, probably coming off a of four. And it hurt their second lap as well. That could happen very easily. I'm hoping we can get a good enough start. Maybe we can get single filed out up here. Maybe I can drop in behind the first place car. But I think third place will probably have a pretty good restart. The bright yellow car behind me, Jesus, that's a very bright car. 12 car is not even here, so we were just waiting on time to run down the whole time. So we have 11 in the race, is that right? I don't know if 12 is the last number. Yeah, no, there's 12 in the race. So there was 13 people here. Pretty decent sized field because I know it was cut in half as well because there was a lot of people that actually registered for the race. A lot more than normal, it seemed like. Like this track is a ton of fun to me, but I am not great at this track. Like when Lyman Land first came out, I was super excited, having fun practicing it. And then every time I raced it, I sucked. The only time I do any decent in them is in the late, in limited late models or in the street stocks. Those are the only two things I do well at Lima Land or any sort of well. If I go on anything quicker for some reason, I suck at this track. I don't know what it is. Really weird. But I'm hoping to get a good start here. Gotta watch them to go. Actually had a pretty good start. I want to run about this lane until it goes away. I don't want to be all the way down at the bottom like we were in qualifying. That four car drifted up quick. And, he, and then he got a car under him. I just don't think that bottom is going to hold up very well. Speed wise. So we're going to slowly push the track up. For sure. Then towards the end, it might work back into the bottom. We'll see. Leader's going all the way up top. I don't think you quite need to go that high. I'm just trying to stay out of the slick mainly. But there's still a lot of grip there. Even though it doesn't necessarily look it. It's not in the slick, so... It's a good amount of grip. I'm just trying to get my car not to completely freak out on me. And go up and smack the wall. I did that a few times. Even in uh, practice, in this session, I did it once. It usually happens when I run a little higher. If I can get to his outside. About to. I didn't want to hook him into the wall. If he's going to run low like that, I'm going to try to get to his outside. That or a slider is like the only way to get a spot. But throwing a slider, you're going to be so slow off a corner. Kind of not even worth it in a way. 
Just try to be here for when he messes up, I guess. You can practically pull through on this track pretty easily. I let off a little bit to try to get the car to turn a little. I thought he was going to get up into the wall there. Tap the brake to drop him back behind him before I got I got him my outside. See if he could hold that bottom or not. I know he's pretty good on the bottom. He was doing it in my last practice when it got pretty worn out. And he was quite quick. Trying not to run into the three, man. I feel like I got a little bit more speed than he does. And I'm not even like full throttling it around the track. I'm just trying to keep the car somewhat straight and get it to rotate enough to where we get a good exit. That's why I let off the gas a little bit, and it's actually really working out for me. I'm not like spinning the tires coming off the corner. But it's killing me because there's a guy right in front of me. His bumper says not here to make friends, so. He kind of sets the tone on how we'll race going off of that. <laughs> I race people clean until I don't get race clean. Oh my, that all got gen generated in at once. Surprised we haven't ran into any lap cars yet already halfway through the race, even though there's some coming up here. Because there's no caution, so I figure people could get spun out pretty easily. And we might run into them. I don't know. Yeah, we're just slowly per pushing the track all the way up, but I don't really want to run all the way up by the wall later on. I'll probably migrate back to the middle or something. Because there's still a lot of grip through, like, most of the corners. It's just on the entrance, it looks bad. Like, once you get halfway through turn one, it's real easy. And then just barely in the beginning in turn three and four, there's a lot of grip down in the middle. If I get a run, I might try to take it on the middle side, not throw a slider, but try to like hook in the middle. It's gonna be really hard to pass though, just because you kind of need to go all the way out to the wall to be fast. You scrub so much speed off turning, staying off a guy above you. Oh, we're smacking the wall. That hurts your entrance a little bit, but I kind of rebounded pretty well there. Did it again. I wish I would have been able to get to his outside earlier, man. That would have probably won us the race. He closed that door right up, though. Starting to get a little bit of room behind us. Let's see if I can make this middle work. Just let off a little bit going in. Get on it coming off. Just try to stay out of the slick here. See what we got. I'm in second. I gotta figure something out. Definitely was faster than running way up there for my last lap time compared to it. Definitely slick in one and two. Alright, so maybe one and two on the high side, three and four, this like mid lane. Because one and two is way slicked off compared to three and four. He had that lap car. Please stay up there. Don't come down. Okay, he's gonna race. We love that. It's actually a decent amount of grip down there. Wow. I was really, I was really in the slick there. That bright yellow car started behind me. He wrecked. Don't know what happened to him. He out. The guy behind me is definitely making that bottom work. He was doing that in my last practice, like I was saying. He was quick on that bottom. Ooh, I killed him in that corner. You just get so much momentum off that high side. Good race. Did all we could. That was close. 
Oh, he way sideways hitting the brakes. They don't want to get next right there. Oh, no good right, Thank you right for playing, man. Really yeah, great, it's great, it's great job tonight. Good job. Good, great job. Good work, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. Had another fast race car. Yeah, we had a pretty good like three-way battle for the most part because the uh, four car was working that bottom really well. He was catching us too, so that was a lot of fun. Hard to pass here though. Really hard to pass. That was a lot of fun though. Pretty clean race overall. Right off the beginning. I want to go back. Uh, I wanted to see this beginning, see what happened. Oh, 10 car got spun immediately, first quarter. I know the four car went super low here. The six car dove under him. That was super close. That was close. I knew I knew the four came up, but didn't know how close that really was because the six dove him and he, he got up out of the way, so he didn't get hit. Wow, that was close. That would have ruined our race probably if we would have gotten clipped there. Either that or we just would have lost some time to the three. But we started catching them for a little bit. I felt like I was a little quicker than him for most of that race until um, towards the end there. I was hoping I'd get to his outside, man. That was so close. I had such a good run there, being a little bit higher, and he got a little sideways. I thought he was going to stay down and just barely came up to shut the door on us. No harm, no foul. I didn't want to hook him into the wall or anything either. But that was a lot of fun, man. This track is super hard, but we had a good three-way battle up here. That was a ton of fun. Where did we start, like, really going different? Because the four cars started venturing low real early compared to when I did. He's still running the high side. Still a high side there. Trying to find it out. Seemed like the last, like, 10 laps for sure. All right, lap 23 is when I started going down. The four car is actually still running the high side at that point. But I feel like I started finding something, especially in three and four. Three and four was definitely the move coming down here. I should have started running. I should have kept running that high side in one and two because you saw those last two laps, man. I was gaining on him. And he just blocked the uh, slider opportunity on the last corner, which is no problem. I was going to try to hook that bottom anyways. I, I wasn't going to try to risk throwing a slider and wreck myself. That's when I realized turn one is too loose in the middle. I got way too sideways there because too far through the middle of one and two started uh, getting slicked off. His lap car kind of helped us in a way. I was able to run the high side. First place had to throw a slider on the lap car. He stayed out there, which was fine. He didn't do anything wrong, just running his line. He just kept hitting the wall, which was scary. There's a damn ice cream truck outside, and it is storming like hell. <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear the ice cream truck outside. That's hilarious, because it is pouring. Or it was when I came home, like, less than an hour ago. It was downpouring. These last few laps were fun, though. Lap 28 here, going into 29, so these are the last two laps. I gained so much here in one and two on both of these laps. I ran that damn near perfect had so much speed i probably could have had an opportunity to throw a slider there but i didn't want to because i didn't want to potentially wreck myself but i just ran one and two so well and i was surprised i really gained on him because he had the momentum coming off of three and four trying to stay low not getting into him he stayed really low he's lucky i didn't uh clip him but i was really trying not to get into him it was just good hard racing blocking the line for me going there and he just had a good straight run off so that was a lot of fun i want to go back what happened to the six car I know he ended up in some shit. What place are you in? You're in fifth here. He tries to come up way too late, and the two cars just full throttling off the corner. He tried coming up way too late. The two car could have backed off and gave him a little slack because he was definitely out of control sliding, but he was just coming up way too slow. Got spun around. That sucks a lot. Did a nice 360, and then just came. He should have stayed high there. Be predictable if you wrecked, stay high because the guy coming can't do anything about that. He's running that low line. Ran right into him, and I think he wrecked this next lap too, or he just stopped. I'm not sure. Goes to throw a slider. Ten car kind of just ran him over a little bit. He was coming up super slow again, and ten car gave him a little bit of slack. So he gave the shot back to the ten. <laughs> How many X's did he end up with? Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that was an awful slider. He ended up with only 4x after all that? Wow. That was a bad slider up. Like, he was just so slow. You were so far behind. 
Like, the limited late models are not that fast to be able to throw a good slider when you're this far back. You have to be right up on somebody to do it clean. Because if the tank car is only running on one monitor, you can't see a damn thing coming. Nope, I want to see the other guy. Because you cannot see him coming if you're only running one screen here. Like, I, right there is when I saw him on my other monitor. Like, I run three screens, and right about... Where is it at? Here, I see him flying in. Right about there, I see him flying in. And if you're on one screen, you do not see him until there, when it's way too late. So, you have to kind of take that into consideration, but know when you can and can't throw a slide job. If you're too far back, you definitely can't, but that seemed like the only real wreck Besides the very beginning, the 10 got spun like first lap from the 5, I think. I think the five, I think the 10 just slowed up a little, and the 5 was full throttle in it, is my guess. And on a restart, you gotta be real careful on that, man. You gotta be real careful on that. 5 car backed off, let him kept going, though, at least, so wasn't too bad. What happened to the 13? Did he just, was he just slower, or something happened to him? Something happened to him here. Coming off of turn four, looks like he smacks the wall, comes all the way down, hits the seven, just from bouncing off the wall. Is that why your lap was so slow? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think he really wrecked, I think he was just a little slower and off the pace, but he didn't really wreck, so. Oh wait, I thought I saw a 17, so oh, that was, the, that was the beginning, so. Other than that, had a good race. I'll take second to that, because uh, we raced clean, raced hard. Uh, had an opportunity there at the end, that's all I could ask for, so I'll take second place, starting in second. Car number one should gain a little bit of I rating, so let's go see what we end up getting. Alright, results are in. Strength of field was 2200, not bad. I knew there was two splits, so I figured the strength of field would have been okay. So, wow, we basically ran the same exact time, that's hilarious. Uh, I think us three were the only ones in the sevens, yeah we were, so nice. Ran pretty clean though. He got the fastest lap barely. He started on the pole. I feel like I was a little bit faster than him in the beginning and I just couldn't get to his outside and I didn't want to get trained on the bot while I was on the bottom by the four as well. Like I didn't want to get past down there. Uh, when If I tried throwing a slider or just going low on the three when the four was super close to us. And later in the race, the bottom was actually coming back in in three and four compared to the top. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, able to run clean, gain 31 I rating. I'll take that. Be getting back over 4,100. That's a lot of fun. Uh, where's the two car at? Oh, he's right there. He's almost 4,000. I was wondering what the uh, difference was. It's not actually that big of a dip from first to third, really. Pretty close. Down to fourth was over at that, about 1,900, something like that. So. Pretty good uh, field overall, though. We raced clean up front, had a lot of fun between us three. Everyone else kind of fell off for the most part. So I'm happy we were able to run good up there, not wreck anybody, not get into anyone. Lap cars were pretty decent. Uh, 10 car just got out of the way for us, I think. And then the 13 just held his lane and we had to get around him. So that was fine. He did everything he needed to. So I'll take that. Good first race of the week. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the racing. Let me know how your guys' racings are going this week. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next race.